This is Kathy Reifsender, a Microsoft CRM Certified Consultant with Customer Dynamics. You may have noticed that some record types in CRM are owned by a user or a team, while others are system owned. Accounts, contacts, and opportunities are some of the record types that are user or team owned, while record types like products or competitors are system owned. There will be times when you will need to change the ownership to another user, or you may just want to share a record with another user. The assign and the share function in CRM can assist in these situations. Allow me to demonstrate. As a reminder, some record types in CRM are owned by a user or a team, while others are system owned. For this demonstration, we'll use the opportunity, which is a user or team owned record. Our scenario will be that a salesperson has been promoted to another position, and now his opportunities will need to be assigned to the new hire. To accomplish this, we will use the assign function which only works with record types that are user or team owned. The assign function changes the ownership of a record to another team or user. So beginning in workplace, I'll navigate to the sales area, then on to opportunities. I will select the five opportunities that need to be reassigned. I will then click on assign in the ribbon. The Assign Opportunity dialog box is presented and is giving me the option to assign the opportunities to myself or to another user or team. I will use the lookup to choose a new hire. Then click OK to assign the opportunities. From the grid of opportunities, you can now see that the owner has been changed. The new hire will now own these opportunities and can begin working them. There's sometimes just a need to share an opportunity with another user but maintain ownership, and that can be done by using the share function in CRM. The share function allows a user to share a record they own with one or several other users and even determine the level of sharing. Let's take a look at an example. I'm going to choose an opportunity, then click on the share in the ribbon. I now choose the user. Then click OK to confirm. The next decision I need to make is how much do I want this user to be able to do on this opportunity. They are given read access by default, but by checking the boxes I can also give them the following permission. They can edit the opportunity, delete the opportunity, attach another entity to the parent account, change the ownership of this opportunity, or share this opportunity with another user. I only want to allow this new user to view and not edit, so I will leave all the other boxes unchecked. If this was an already shared record and I wanted to revoke the sharing permission, I would simply click on the user, then remove the selective items. The toggle all permissions button simply marks all or none of the boxes as a time saver. The reset button will remove everything and allow you to begin anew. I will click OK to commit my changes. The new user will now be able to open this opportunity. However, it will not show up under their opportunity view because the ownership was not changed. In situations when the ownership of a record needs to be changed, you would use the assigned function. You would use the share function when you do not want to change the ownership of a record but you'd like to give another user access to the record. The share function also allows you to determine the level of access that user can have. Keep in mind that both the assign and share functions are ultimately controlled by your security role.